Hey. Oh, I see a five. <laughs> <laughs> day 14 of Ramadan and Tawheed is making me some shrimp and chicken alfredo and of course he got everything this laid out special. that's yours it's yours oh I, if you knew you was gonna if I knew you was gonna uh there's plenty of sauce in there for you because I know you like it to be saucy I've been really good with not eating chicken and only having it once a week so i had it yesterday at my cousin's thing and then the week before that is when i had it at Tawhee's house so i know you guys saw it two times in that vlog but it was two separate sundays hey guys so it is day 15 of ramadan and me and Tawhee are out here because we're about to take a nice walk um I took like one other walk before, but I just like nice walks. So we're in the park right now. It's a lot of developments going on. I mean, I feel like Philly's always trying to like build something. And that <laughs> yeah, building says Delaware Station. There. I don't know what, this building used to be Delaware Station, whatever that was. Yeah, just take a nice little stroll. Yeah, who told me to come walk? What? Who told me to come walk right now? I am tired. We walked for like <laughs> we walked for like twenty minutes, and I'm like the thirst. I'm just like, ugh. Like you, you think you could do a lot when you're fasting, and then just like you start to feel that fatigue. But I'm the love. Hey guys, so I'm back from my walk and I just found out like some of the greatest news ever just now. I applied to be a part of the Sephora squad and I just found out that I made it to semi-finalists. So this is the second round of it. And obviously I still need testimonials to be able to make it as a finalist and win a spot on the Sephora squad. This would be an amazing opportunity for me to be in a year long paid partnership with them um, to create content and just to learn from other people that are in the industry and, you know, just be, learn to be a better content creator um, and being able to market myself and sell online and just a whole bunch of different things that I can learn. So, alhamdulillah, like, the experience has been great so far and you guys can help me make it as a finalist by going to the link in my description and leaving a testimonial. It can be anything that you find um, a value from me and just anything that you feel like you want to share about um, how you feel about my content or just how my content makes you feel you can leave a testimonial in the description. So yeah, I'm really excited and I pray, I pray to God that I get it because I just, it just feels right and makes sense for my next steps in just my whole career that I'm trying to create with Instagram and just YouTube and the whole influencer kind of space. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm just here um waiting because today is actually Tahid's dad's birthday i know a lot of april birthdays i know so many people born in april like it's crazy i love you april people like yeah just everything yeah just everything but yeah so we'll be heading over there soon and i'm gonna take you guys along with me we get sprayed at the house <laughs> Hey. Oh, I see a five. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got some chocolate covered strawberries. We've been here for a little while, enjoying. You gonna eat one, baby? <laughs> no. You don't want to eat it? Okay. Assalamu alaikum, guys. So it is day 16 of Ramadan, and I actually am getting ready to do my video for the Sephora squad. They require us to, you know, do a little video saying why we want to be. A Sephora influencer so that's what I'm about to do right now but I just wanted to show you guys my journal that I actually got for Ramadan it just came a bit late because I ordered it late and it was coming from London so yeah so it just came a little bit late but I want to show you so here's the journal guys this is called it's called heart hydra a guide to bringing your heart back home I actually got it from their instagram page but it's in collaboration with thrive tribe which my good friend khadijah from london um actually curated and it looks amazing everyone that was in charge of making this journal is just amazing um so when you open the first page it's kind of like just telling you welcome yeah no yakari and it's just so beautiful and i obviously missed like the first two weeks but this will be great for me because i'll be able to um just reflect on my last two weeks of ramadan and making sure i get the most out of it so here are just some of the question prompts so have you learned the true meaning of forgiveness what are some hardships you have overcome how have you learned to forgive like i just think this is so good like as a reflection a letter to Allah, dear Allah. I'm actually going to do this even though I missed it. Um, but yeah, so I'm on day 15 and I actually started writing in it yesterday night. But yeah, I just love how this looks like. And then look, they even have like a word search, which I'm going to do today on day 16. And just other things that you can do. And I just thought this was so nice like and i think i only paid like 20 dollars for it it also comes with a poster that shows you the 99 names of the law and what they mean and it's just good for like when you want to make dua and you're trying to make it for a specific reason it's good to use um allah's names when doing that so i thought this was super cute I believe this is their first time like making this journal and stuff like that. So, um, inshallah, next Ramadan, it could be something that you would like to purchase. I think journals in general, just being able to reflect and write things down is really good. Um, you know, writing things that you're grateful for because as human beings, like it's just innate for us to forget all the things that, you know, that we're blessed with and... I just think it's really important to journal and write things down. And I love doing that anyway. So having a journal that I can actually use is essential. I also want to share with you guys that I have partnered with Launch Good to be able to give back. And the specific organization that I've partnered with is called Banyan Org. And they are supplying iftar and suhoor meals to those in northern Syria and all of those um, different countries like Yemen, etc. Um, so feel free to donate in the link that I'm going to share below. And um, I just think obviously we're in the month of giving, so it's essential to give back in any way that we can, especially when you are feeding a fasting person. That's something that's very important. And even if you're not Muslim and you would like to donate, feel free to do so. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to really share with you guys right now. It is, I think, about to be one o'clock or about to be 12. Actually, it's about to be like 12. So right now I'm gonna film that um, short video and then I'm gonna get back to work because I have more kids that I have to see for my regular full-time job. And yeah, I'll probably see you guys again at Iftar. So he said that he was making lobster. So we'll see how that turns out. Y'all, so Tahid is chefing it up. Yeah. Babe, you chefing it up? 
I'm not trying to go out there without. Y'all, he got the lobster tails and the shrimp. Okay, shrimp on the kebab. I see you, babe. <laughs> so excited to eat. I already know it's going to be good. No, it's okay. I see you with the old bay. Well, one's on that one. Yeah, his. So, what you put on mine? So, bunch of stuff. That's it? Nah, salt, cumin, paprika, cayenne, pepper, and uh, Look at you. Pasta. Chef Tao Edi. <laughs> so, we got some mash right here. Tao Edi's also going to make some asparagus. Liddy. Wow, look at this. Ooh. Wow. So he did his thing, y'all. Wow. Y'all, so he went off, 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 off. Wow. This looks amazing. So we have some mashed potato, some asparagus, shrimp, and some grilled lobster, y'all. He did that. Thanks so much, babe. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. So, guys, I'm about to eat this too. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. So, like, hey guys, so it is day 17 of Ramadan. And right now, me and Tony are on a date. And we're at Taco. Babe, show them. It's about to be lit. Shamila. I was about to catch this L as usual. No, because last time we played mini golf, I beat him. I let. I beat him. I let her win. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. It was like our second date. I had to let her win. It was not our second date, <laughs> and definitely no. I definitely won you fair and square because you was really trying to be in competition. With you. Okay. We'll Guys, see. Period. We'll see. Let's say put a comment below who you think is gonna win. Okay, guys, so I already swung and it was terrible. So we about to see how tall he swings. Yay! <laughs> oh, my tiger swing. I ain't got no, I had no, no What's that, zero? Probably zero. Why well, don't show it? All right, let's see how she do. Nah, it don't count to leave the John to leave the mat. <laughs> Me back up if I get swung in the head. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Current score, I'm winning. Tell you got fourteen. I'll let you go twice. Okay, twice. whatever. You All got right, it. Yay. Yeah. Did it go? I got blue though. Yeah. Let me see. Blue. I ain't getting no height on that though. Well, well yeah, that's pretty far. Tell your friends to take notes. Damn, this is not even dinner for our date. That chicken sounds like a so guys we decided to um skip the dinner because we ate a lot at taco but right now tell you just driving like two miles per hour because he's not trying to get a ticket in new york <laughs> guys so it is day 18 of ramadan and i'm here in new york city at my mom's house so today i actually made a post that i'll put right here yeah that has some of my favorite e dresses from black muslim owned brands you guys already know how i feel about black muslim owned brands and just supporting my friends and you know just other black muslim women so that'll be linked 
all on my Instagram. And then um, right now I'm about to just make some shrimp fried rice because I just feel like making iftar early today so I can get some other things done. And alhamdulillah, we've made it almost to the last 10 days of Ramadan. That's so crazy, like how fast everything went. We're literally about to be in the last 10 days, which is in a day. Yeah, because Sunday would be the 20th of Ramadan. So 10 days left, guys. Alhamdulillah. I pray that it's going well for you guys and that the last 10 days um, you receive many blessings from all the ibadah and all the things that you guys are doing. So Alhamdulillah for that. Um, so right now I'm just going to go make my rice and I'll catch you guys in a few. So guys, I didn't get to show you um, the iftar I made earlier, but this is shrimp fried rice that I made. And then I also made some plantain. Assalamu alaikum guys. It is day 19 of Ramadan and I'm in beautiful New York City. It's like such a nice day. Like the weather is nice. The allergies here is killing though. Like allergies in New York City is just on a different level. Like the pollen is just on a different level. So I'm walking. I'm on my way to get my hair done. So that's why my scarf looks a little crazy right now. But alhamdulillah, I'm about to um, get my hair done. You know, this is the part of my mini um, eat prep. So that's what's happening. It's kind of weird vlogging outside and people are just staring at you like you're crazy. But I don't care. I'm so used to walking fast, guys. But when you're fasting, and you're trying to walk fast, it's like, you just out of breath. Like, I'm so out of breath right now, it don't even make any sense. But, yeah, so I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Okay, hey guys, so I've been back from the hair salon for a minute now. And I just wanted to show y'all what my mom made that I can't wait to eat later. If you guys don't know, I'm half Jamaican, so my mom made aki and breadfruit. <laughs> and when I say this is the hypest, the hypest I've been for Ittar, the hypest, literally. Salam, beautiful people. Um, right now, it's almost time to break. We are on day day 20 of Ramadan. Right now, I'm about to go um, break with my friend Aziza. We're going to the Thai restaurant and we chose Thai food because Thai food is the bomb. Like it's top five best foods, period. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. So let's go. I love this See, blazer. Patrick. Thank you. H and M. So we're at this place called Sage. Never been. Never been here, but Thai food is always a go. It's our favorite. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely our favorite. <laughs> so we're about to get probably an appetizer and then choose what we want to eat. You want? You want to stay vegetarian? So our appetizers came. We have. Well, I got the shrimp dumpling. I got the vegetarian curry pops. Yeah, vegetarian curry oh, pops. That, that looks so good. It is so good. And we also got some mango mojitos version because it's Ramadan period. Hold out, baby. And yeah, oh, it's not even that hot. So guys, our food is finally here. <laughs> and I got the shrimp drunken noodles. I'm so excited because this looks so good. And I got the Aziza vegetarian guy. had Thai, but I added chicken. Okay. So it's not vegetarian. It looks good though. It looks good. So we're about to eat. So of course we got dessert because period. <laughs> okay. So I got a red velvet cake with some ice cream. And Aziza got some chocolate mousse and some chocolate sauce. Okay, period. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So good. Even though we mad full, we're going to eat this anyway. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> Probably not. Salam guys, so I'm back home. I had a great time with Aziza. It was amazing. The food was really good. Um, I'm so full right now. I'm about to do the rest of my night prayers and then go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm 
tired okay but this is the end of week three ramadan vlogs i hope you guys are enjoying i will see you guys inshallah in the next week um yeah we still have like a few days before a whole week kind of before eid and stuff so i'll probably do that week and then have like an eid vlog so inshallah i'm gonna figure it out but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again next time and be sure to subscribe because you keep coming back here and you're not subscribing i see you you hit every time i see you now for um subscribe guys it will mean a lot to me um so yeah assalamualaikum